Hello and welcome to our show Centre Spot. Today is a juicy one. We are going to be talking a lot of football. A lot of football has happened this week. It's been a bit crazy. Different setup this week, but we still have the same legends with us this week. First up is Cameron Lee. Cameron Lee. Opposite him, Nife Bali. <laughs> and next to me we have HF Senior. Wow. Thank There's you. only one. All right, boys. Bit of a crazy week. Nuts. Yep. I still haven't really recovered from the watch along. <laughs> I probably the craziest game I've ever watched yep, in, yep. in Premier League history. Spurs versus Chelsea, especially with the boys. Yeah. Craziest game I think I've ever watched. It's a lot so, of emotions. Check out the Watch Along highlights if you haven't already. It is pure mayhem. Pure mayhem. Without giving you PTSD, Camersley, you've had some time to reflect. Yep. How are you now feeling about that 4-1 loss to Chelsea? Well, I'll tell you what. I was doing some maths the other day, Fred, and I worked out there's probably been about 500 Spurs games in my lifetime, right? Okay, that I've, I've been properly invested in. Like, a lot like, of math. Remember, remember, remember watching, at least. Um, and that's the one we decided to do a watch along to for the first time. It's just, you couldn't write it, could you? Um, yeah, I mean, what a game. What a game. Such a good game. I've actually made some notes. So just forgive me for a second here, boys. Well, I'm going to wow. crack into this, right? Because the guy's look, got a book. Look, I mean, first thing I want to say is I, I've never been so proud to be a Oh, Tottenham here we go. <laughs> Again, right. here I, we I, go. Said, I, said it on the, I said it on the stream and I'll say it now. Check okay, that, out, that performance, right, is exactly what every Tottenham Hotspur fan looks for when they watch their team, right? And you have to understand where we're coming from. Right? Let me give you a bit of perspective, right? What do you when mean? Had, two, you two, no, sorry. Like, you talk sorry, mate. Can you, like, just, can you just pipe down for two sorry, minutes? Right? Sorry, okay? sorry, and I'll sorry. give you more than an ample chance. Let me, I'm about talk. to explain why I feel this way. Can I, am I allowed like, to take some notes whilst you do you, this? Mate, you, you can, you <laughs> can so write can all the nonsense you. down you want to, Harry, mate. Okay? You can write down all the nonsense you want to. Because I'm actually coming for Liverpool in this little speech here too. So you might have something to say. right? And I'll tell you why. Because, look, Spurs for the last four years have watched some of the most negative football. And, you know, don't get me wrong. It was for the, it was in the ambition of winning trophies and we got pretty close a couple of times. Marino got to a cup final then got sacked for some reason. Um, Conte looked like it was taking us places. That obviously ended up in the car crash. But I tell you what, that was an inspired performance from Tottenham Hotspur. There were two players that let themselves down, a doggy and Romero. Every, all the other nine players on that pitch were like superheroes, mate. The way they played, Vicario for one. That is probably the best goalkeeping performance I have ever seen. Okay, and you know you might disagree, but from my perspective, it is definitely up there. He kept that game. He kept that game from being. That game could have finished eleven-one if it wasn't if he wasn't in goal. Okay, the amount of and come on, you. I'll sit here with you, boys. The way you were yeah. reacting to some of his saves, they were unbelievable, right? Did concede all of them, and he did concede four, but none of them. It wasn't. They, they weren't his fault. The, the none of those goals were his fault. Anyway, let me just get in, let me get into why I'm I'm so happy with this performance, right? So look. Spurs played the game, right? They had 10 men for 25 minutes and then they went down for nine for the last 35. So that's 60 minutes of the game where they're playing with a significant disadvantage. Man United last night, they get a man sent off in the 40th minute and then go on to concede four goals against a dodgy Copenhagen side, right? So just, you know, and that's when you're playing, that's when you're playing the normal way. Oh. That's, when, that's, when you, that's when you're playing the normal way with men sitting back, it, right? Okay. Spurs are playing on the halfway line. Spurs are playing attacking, aggressive football. United are playing the negative football that normally comes when you get a man sent off, right? Okay. And they still got smacked up and conceded four to a dodgy Copenhagen side. Can that's I before even... Do I have to wait? You can wait for a second, mate, okay? <laughs> right? Then let me go on to Liverpool for a second, right? Because Liverpool actually won a similar position, right? When they came to Spurs, they got two men sent off. Actually, quite similar red cards, I'd say. Um, a dodgy sort of late tackle that goes over the ball, you know, arguable red card, probably a red though looking at it, and then two silly yellows, right, which got your doggy got. Um, but look at the way Liverpool, silly yellows. Look at the way, look at, look at the, very, like, completely different. Alarming, yeah, mate. They're not. Yeah, yeah. They're not. They're not. They're, they're very similar, right? <laughs> and look at the way Liverpool <laughs> approached that game, mate. They sat negative football, negative football, football that belongs in the 1970s, oh, mate. Right? Oh, mate, just let me finish for it. I'll, I will not speak <laughs> for the rest of this podcast. Let me just say these things, right? Okay? Because Harry, mate. Liverpool sat back and they relied on Salah, who is, don't get me wrong, a generational talent, right? To maybe try and scrape something for the game. Tottenham said, no, we're in this together. We're collective. We push up to the halfway line. We make Chelsea nervy, right? And Spurs, they should have arguably got something from the game. Even with nine men, we had three yeah. massive chances. One of them went in. It was an inch offside. Okay, Son breaks through his line, 
puts on, makes Sanchez make a really good save. And then Benton call gets the ball literally a yard from goal and doesn't know whether to head it, shoulder it, near or tap it in. Does none of them and lets it go out, right? Okay. And to be fair to him, he's been out of football. He's been out of action for eight months. So he's not going to be, I don't know, the most on it when it comes to football. I appreciate I might be going on here a little bit, but this game really brought some, some fucking really emotion are. out of me here. Um, and look, for, final point here really is Chelsea were also awful. Right, that is the worst performance from a team that won four one I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. Right, okay, and it was on, on the other side of that. In my opinion, it was the best performance from a team that lost four one I've ever seen in my life. I think Spurs were outstanding. Okay, apart from two players, Can I think Chelsea was shit. Can okay, and final point, and then I'll leave you to it. Final point: we also saw why Ange is one of the top five managers in the world, and none of your managers are in that list according to FIFA. Right, because I think Arteta really got shown up for the forty years this weekend. Right, because we remember after that Liverpool result. Spurs Liverpool he came out and I think the words he said was we need to give the managers a chance they're only human beings at the end of the day well Fred do you want to remind everyone what he said after this weekend when he when his side got a bit of a dodgy mistake go his way it's an yeah. absolute disgrace childish right okay <laughs> childish uh, what did Klopp say when he had a couple of decisions go his way oh let's replay the game let's replay the game yeah embarrassing right what did Ange Postecoglou say he said no mate I respect the referees okay I've been playing this game I've been playing this game for 30 years mate and he's got something called respect, which I feel like the rest of the top six managers, mate, should really look at and take a leaf out of his book. OK, come on, you Spurs. What a performance. And I know we're going places after watching that. And nothing you can say now, nothing at all, boys, can take that away from me. So I went on there for right. a bit. That's no, day. No. I won't talk You're again. It's right. Happy. So, so he's added Man U. Yeah. He's added Liverpool. Yeah. And he's like, added Arsenal. And Chelsea. But no Chelsea uh, forward yeah, to yeah, start yeah. a turn up today. But... Chelsea, yeah. Chelsea, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and they yeah, stink, but they do they, stink. They, they beat you. Yeah. Four, are one. you ready for for us to come, come at me, boys? Come, come, at me. Yeah, come, come at me. Come at me. All I'm gonna say is right. You said United with the red card. Yeah, 40 minutes, 60 minutes, or whatever we played. More than that, because it was 30 minutes of the half mm, half fun. time. Right. Fun. We still scored three goals. Fun. Two with two two two, two with, with eleven. Two with the red card, and we yeah. should have no, won. No, no, no. Two with eleven men. We scored two with eleven. Yeah, you're two you went 2-0 up. And then you got a penalty. And you got a penalty. So you actually scored. You actually scored, scored no goals from the black. Fine, whatever. Fine, whatever, <laughs> fine, whatever. We're whatever. coming to that. Yeah, whatever, we're coming whatever, to that. Whatever, whatever. Yeah. We still went out there and tried to win the game. Mm. In, in a different way to Spurs. Mm. And we've all been saying, and every single pundit has said this week, how ridiculous it was that Ange tried that stuff. It's not, uh, that's it's, not true. It's, that's not true. No, you, you're, you're saying it's a positive as a Spurs fan. So there's, this, there's the bias as a Spurs fan because you want to you see your team try and try and score goals and whatever, but you were always going to lose that game playing like that. Bro. We were sat here saying, Fair. it's ridiculous. They've done the same ball 10 times and they've got in every single time. You're lucky Chelsea is shit and can't put the ball in back in the net. The, the, we went there to try and win the game. The, the only thing I disagree with there is that he said that every pundit has come out and said that it was a bad tactic. It was Pundits, for some reason, are licking Ange's asshole, man. Uh, Maybe they, 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 they played the game. No, no, no. They can see something. Gary Neville. Like We've all disagreed with that. The, they're, they're too much so, big like, ones. Bro, why did this guy choose to play that tactic against Chelsea, who cannot score goals? They literally cannot score goals. You look how hard it was for them to score those three goals. Mm -hmm against Tottenham that were playing that high line because they've been so bad this season at finishing. Right. The amount of saves Vicario makes, you sit back as Tottenham, as Anne should have done, because and we still Chelsea lose. And, we still lose. Gonna... and we still lose. You don't. How you probably don't. Okay, okay. How can you lose? possibly course, guarantee of course, that? Of course that's a chance. It's of course like... that's a massive chance. But you see which HFC will probably come on to, yeah. the, the nine men against uh, Tottenham for yeah, Liverpool. What happened in that game? Liverpool lost. Or you uh, scored, uh, mate. You you scored, you mate. Can I, can I please... Cameras, 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 cameras. Listen, listen. We let you talk. You, we let you talk. Up, up, now let me, let me wipe the floor with you, cameras. <laughs> okay, yeah? please do. Okay? First of all, we went down to nine men. What did we do? We, we lost the game due to a ridiculously oh, unfortunate oh, own bringing this goal. Up, yeah, it's, bringing yeah, it's not like, it's not like, like Cam, bro, this, is, this is ridiculous. Bro, is what you did, shit. what you did, what Ange did, in my opinion, stupid. is naive stupid. and stupid. You, what you did he was you invited tactic. Chelsea to attack and inevitably score a goal. What was it? The red card came in the 55th-ish minute. You had nearly a whole half to play. Yeah. And he has actually played like that in a way that... You, I was watching the game thinking, mate... Don't get me wrong. For that 20 minutes, Spurs were amazing. Unbelievable shift. Unbelievable oh. shift. But he sent his players out 
to a battle that they were only ever going to lose because you, we anyone watching it anyone watching it could see that they were going to lose they were going to they were going to see you must see that you it was a training draw hold on cameras cameras it was a training draw for Chelsea it was a let me cameras 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 we've already had we've listened cameras we've heard enough mate we've heard enough you know we've heard enough you spoke we've heard enough you made a fool of yourself yeah we're done now let the let the boys do the talking you know Spurs had an absolute shocker you it's a training drill for Chelsea they were queuing up on the halfway line to just run through and either pull the ball across or finish it when on the end the game, of it. Nicholas the game Jackson the game scored a hat-trick yeah, against well, you lot. That is a terrible, a terrible reflection. The, the day Richarlison scores a hat-trick against Doesn't another matter. team, I will think they played terribly and you've just done that, basically. You know what I mean? You've just basically let Richarlison score a hat Cameron, against Cameron, you. Uh, you Cameron, know what I mean? To the so let's just keep it to yourself, cameras. I'll let you finish that. I appreciate to the uninitiated this might look like a bit of a crazy way of playing football, which all you boys are, to be fair to you. We're not initiating, mate. Plus, Cena has played this football. Try, try and say the word right before you have a go at me about it. Right, okay. Look, I appreciate, look, you guys are a little surprised. I was a little bit baffled, but look, I'm, I like to see myself as a pretty cultured football fan, right? Okay, and look, I'm taking, I'm taking the money. Sorry, that was my... That's what you... Yeah, so we're having fun. But let, let me just say this, right? Let me just say this. Let me just, let me just say this, right? Okay. Yeah, okay. I get what you're saying, Harry. It's, it was batshit crazy. It is batshit crazy. Yeah. But the game wasn't done. Stupid the is the word. It wasn't done in the 55th. It should have been. It wasn't done. It should have been, but it wasn't. It, wasn't it should have been done when you were 10 man down. In the 75th. It wasn't in the 85th. They scored a goal in the 93rd minute to make it 3 1. And let's be honest, me, you went crazy when, sorry, you went crazy when, when Dyer scored that equaliser. Then you went crazy when you saw Benton Corbin. Only for Le Bon. We were in he, only, he only no, went yeah, crazy no, for Le Bon. It would have been mental. It would have been, been mental if they scored. It would have been mental. Right? And we were in that game until six minutes. And fine. You know what? You play, you play, you play 90 minutes football with two extra with two men down okay in the last two minutes a very pacey team when you've been playing a bit of a mental strategy okay yeah. and we've only and also here's another thing too we've only had this manager for four months okay okay yeah. okay, okay Cam, Cam, the, Cam, big problem, the big problem the big problem the big problem is that you're talking like guys all over Chelsea the shop, are not uh, like you're talking like Chelsea are good finishers they're not Chelsea so should have if like the fact that you were in it until the 75th minute or whatever joke. it was was because Chelsea are bad finishers and Vicario was unbelievable and Vicario was unbelievable yeah. but also because Chelsea are bad finishers they don't score very they, they don't score goals Bro, they don't Cameron, score goals Cameron, and so like any other team would have destroyed you at that point you got anything you, you just made a point that I think is so hypocritical right? Go. you just said the game wasn't over until the 90 whatever minute it whatever. wasn't what, but you, did, you just made the same point about Liverpool, who sat back from I don't know how long yeah. and lost the game in the 94th minute. No, is no, that not the no, same no, thing? No, is that not the same thing? No, 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 because Liverpool were drawing the game going to the 90th. We were all 2-1 down. Yeah, but they were, they, were, they, were tr they were trying to get the draw. Huh? They were and trying to get the job. For them. It's, the, it's the same no thing. Point, mate. Listen, it's the same listen, thing. When you're nine men, it's mate, when you're down to nine thing. men, at the, point, at the end of the day, when you're down to nine men, you've got to kind of look around and say, look, if we even get a draw here, it's a miracle. So he may as well. So you exactly. hold out. So you, you hold out and you yeah, get that exactly. point. Every yeah. point counts. But mate, you didn't get out. You didn't Yes, they did. Cameras, cameras. They wrong balls. Spurs stuck to their principles. Oh, man. Spurs stuck to their principles. Oh, man. Obviously, everyone's bored, cameras. Everyone's bored. Explain to me. You stuck to the one tactic that Andrew. Oh, right, but we brought uh, we sorry, excuse me. We brought flipping Eric Dyer on the pitch, right? Flipping. And he refused. He refused. <laughs> so I was gonna. I was gonna get a bit crazy there, but I decided let's just let's make it PG for the boys, right? Because the rest of this podcast won't be that. Flipping sure. out, right? Um, look, we brought and um, sorry, Ange, we brought Eric Dyer onto the pitch, right? Okay, and that's a point where you'd be like, okay. That's just everyone just have it. It's like yeah. no, you, everyone hasn't even played a game this year. He hasn't played a single. That was his first minute on the pitch, right? Okay, and you know what? Fine, the result didn't work out a way. But I tell you what, boys, we were bloody close. I tell you Cameras. what it showed. Yeah, I tell you what it showed. It showed. Okay. It showed Ange's tactical inability to change. Naivety. Can I? Can I build on Naivety. that? Please? Can I? Can I please yeah, build yeah, on that? Course. What I'm trying to get to right now is, um, on a quick side note, before I get to the point I was about to make. Before this guy, this guy brought out, drew out Klopp there, trying to call out a replay. The, the, the difference between that Chelsea Spurs game is that there was not an absolute catastrophe of a refereeing decision that decided the game. But we won't go into that. What I was actually getting to is that Ange Postecoglou showed his Premier League lack of experience. Fact. Pep Guardiola, Jurgen Klopp, Mikel Arteta even, 
Which and don't get me wrong, I don't love Arteta at all. But none, all three of them, the reason Klopp sits back for a reason, mate. He knows that every single point counts. In a title race, every single point counts. Ange Postacoglu and Tottenham don't know anything about a title Gave race. Gave it in away. The Prem, you know, so every single point counts. Hence why Klopp tries to camp out. We got unlucky. Unlucky on goal for Joel Matip, who played well. But the fact is, yeah, any manager who's done well in the Prem, who's doing it in the Prem, who's got any experience in the Prem, does not try and attack in a game that sets them up to, for guaranteed <laughs> loss. Can you know I, what I mean? I hold on, hold on. You know what I mean? Pep Guardiola, Jurgen Klopp, they hold out and they try and take anything they can from that game. Exactly. And, and that's Klopp, where Postacoglu flopped. Loads from that game against Tottenham, which shows, in my game. opinion, one, one, one game, one game, game. thirty, 30 seconds, seconds away from success. It's one game where we stuck to our principles, and I tell you what, us sticking to our principles led to us being how many points above Liverpool right now? Sticking to our principles. What principles are you on about, mate? What were these famous Tottenham principles? Sticking to your principles. What's that? Losing to Chelsea. Home. They called you three point lane. That's sticking to their principles, is it not? You know what I mean? Cameron, it's, it's, That's it's, insane, it's, it's, mate. Let me just finish my point. Let me just finish my point. Arsenal had Arteta in Arsenal had Arteta in for three years, right? Okay. They and it was only until two and a half seasons that they finished eighth and then fifth, right? Okay. I think we can all agree Spurs will finish higher than those two positions. United, you're talking about sacking management. You're talking about sacking management. So look, listen, 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 listen. We can come back come back to this. And I'll tell you what, I will eat my hat. On, on, on the pod, mate, if I'm wrong, okay? But listen, Ange has come in. And That's we a big all, Listen, let's remember where Spurs were at. <laughs> let's, let's remember where Spurs were at, boys, right? Spurs have sold their best player at the beginning. The best player, best English player of all time, the best player that Spurs will ever see, right? So I'm going to be carried away. Yeah. But <laughs> best player that Spurs will ever see. And he's made a massive impact. But right? Cameron. By sticking to his principles, okay? The, the, it's the principles of his management that have got Spurs to where they Not are. Not one it's tactic. The reason, that the reason he's why got. we beat Liverpool. It's the reason why we got great outplayed Arsenal at the Emirates. It's the reason why we beat Man United. There's no other. Yeah, reason, there's a, there's no other reason for you mate. beating did, Liverpool apart from the terrible did, decision. You guys fucking ignoring that. Can I, can I ask yeah. one question? Oh, can up. I ask you one question? Did Van de Ven play against Brentford? Um, I think he did. Yeah, he did. Well, I am Emerson Royale a couple episodes ago. And you've, you've literally <laughs> based your whole season on Van de Ven being able to get back on the high line. Like, the ball goes through and Van de Ven needs to get back and recover the ball. The amount of times I've seen Van der Ven sweep up, get a last ditch tackle. Yeah. Where is he now? Look, that is obviously a concern. It's a big concern. Obviously a concern. Um, the injuries, crazy. Look, and is Ange going to play the, the same most... tactic with Eric Dyer? Well, because he only has yeah, one well, tactic. Yeah, I think. He, if anything, if, we, said, if, we, if we've learned anything from this discussion, Freddie, yeah. I think it's for yeah, sure yeah. that we know. But in in the an same interview, in it, like, I, I saw an interview uh, the other day of Ange saying that. He, he just copies Pep Guardiola. And I'm starting to think it's serious. I'm starting to think it might be serious. I, I, I don't he think he's he got watches. any initiative for himself. I don't think he's got any personal creative managerial ability. Me. He, he, he came <laughs> on with Gary Neville and Jamie Carragher and they all laughed when he said, yeah, I just copied, <laughs> they all laughed. They I just, laughed it's copied, I just, bed, I just copied Pep Guardiola. But now, after seeing that tactic, nine men down, refusing, <laughs> refusing, <laughs> to drop men back and put everyone on the halfway line where Chelsea, even with 10 men, were annihilating that line and it was inevitable they were going to score. But because it was Chelsea, they didn't score earlier. And he still went into halftime having seen it with 10 men and refused to change the tactic. We it's were ridiculous. saying on the watch along, there's no way he can go into halftime after seeing Romero red card and Sterling constantly going through with these balls, and he can't it, like that. He doesn't change the tactic. Then he comes out second half, and he doesn't change his tactic. And no. obviously, it inevitably <laughs> leads to three goals. Freddie, 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 Freddie,
and we did you and two. Okay, so I get it. And you know, your gas. And Jay is doing it. We outplayed Arsenal. Sorry, look, we outplayed. We outplayed title challenging. We outplayed title challenging Arsenal at their own home, a place where we never get any points. We got more possession than them. Arsenal thought they were going to come to Trump. What was your prediction for the game, Freddie? Like 4 0 Arsenal or something? Yeah, how did that turn out? And look, you all got Ange balled. And now, no, look, I see it. I understand it. I see it. Because listen, you're desperate. You're desperate for this person. You lost the coglude, mate. So, it goes um, against everything relax. you believe in as football fans, which is obviously negative football. <laughs> right, okay, look, Spurs have come in; they're a breath of fresh air in the Premier League, and um, <laughs> do you know they're not. Do you know what they're not? I've got nothing League. else to say on the subject. Do, do, right. Thank God. Thank God. Do you know the only off. reason you're saying all of this is because you've never seen good football in your life? Maybe. Right. Maybe. That is the that only reason. reason. But I'm seeing the best football. I'm seeing the best football I've ever seen in the Premier League right now. That's just such bullshit. I'm loving it. Such bullshit. All right. Well, let's let's go on from. Tottenham Hotspurs, they are no longer... <laughs> Honestly, I'm fuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah the blood is boiling. Blood is All right, boiling. They are no longer top of the table. Come you on. No longer have yeah. to start Down with, with the yids. Yeah. Man City won 6-1 against Bournemouth. They are back to the top of the table, which... Honestly, it's quite a scary, scary prospect that Man City are back at the top of the table because they haven't looked very good this year. They really, really haven't. And they're back there. They're still the best. <laughs> Somehow. Still the best. Somehow they're back at the top of the table. Uh, but Arsenal also lose 1 0 to Newcastle. Mm. Big result. Big result. Questionable goal. I think, you think, Fred. Uh, I think it's definitely, it definitely should be ruled out for something. I mean, there was, <laughs> really? there was, there was about four, four different <laughs> things. Bro. Like, what, what, I mean, what was the main thing it should be ruled out for? Uh, the see, the thing is that the ball out looks very similar to the Japan, yeah. uh, Sp Spain, or Germany. Yeah. Um, but you've seen well, that perspective thing. Yeah, this exactly. Changes. So, so like that's why, like maybe I understand why there's not enough evidence. What pisses me off about that line decision is that the Brighton Rashford, where Rashford yeah, yeah, exactly. scored it bad, I put it into the chat and scored. They had a camera on the line for. Yeah. That. Why are there not the same cameras at every Premier League game? Like so, for the for the for oh, the boy. Rashford. Hoyland goal where he pulls it back mm -hmm. and you can see there's a camera on the line and the ball's out. Why is there not a camera at St. James's Park that's on the goal line? Why are, why are they... It doesn't I reckon make a guy turned it off in the back. Like, there's, there's, the, different, there's different... Yeah, one well, of the Newcastle groundsmen, mate. But, but why is that a thing that there's a camera at one stadium that's on the line and then... There's not a camera at the other stadium that's on the line. Infrastructure, maybe? I don't it doesn't seem beyond... Does it, does it, does it, does it doesn't it's, it's on the line, bro. Like, it's not that hard of a camera Sorry if I'm there. going to lose my head here, but I feel like this is pretty simple within, you know, the terms of the evolution of humanity. Can we get a couple of lasers, right? Yeah. Across the pitch, yeah. right? And if the ball crosses, and maybe put a sensor within... It's like goal-line technology. That's goal-line, yeah. yeah. That's, that's goal-line technology. It crosses the line, you just get a thing on thing saying yeah. throw into whatever. But the goal, the, yeah. they definitely, that, that is what goal-line technology is. So why can't we do that on the, but, the whole pitch? Yeah. Because it's obviously yeah. just, as, it's just as important if the ball goes up for a throw in the build-up to a goal than if it crosses the line or not. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So that, yeah. for me, I, it's, it, I, it's, be, it's beyond me how that's not been sorted. Yeah, yeah so that's... that's, that's I think that's, that's fair. That's, I, think I can see why they didn't decision. disallow the goal. I can see why they didn't disallow it for that one. I can agree. Did I you, can agree. You, what did you think about Gabriel? Because of some people are saying Gabriel maybe got fouled. For me, I don't think foul it's, I don't, me, I don't think like ever like he pushes his He pushes his head down. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, but like, I don't understand <laughs> it because there's been a lot of comparisons to this Cedric uh, Son thing that happened when Arsenal were going to the Champions League. <laughs> And and obviously that game's way gone, mm. way gone. But Cedric just kind of nudges Son in the back, and they give the penalty. And all of the commentators are saying, "Yeah, it's definitely a penalty. It's definitely a penalty." And then suddenly you have Gabriel getting, and th this is not an over exaggeration. Two hands in the back of the neck push. So that and they go. That is not an over exaggeration. <laughs> that isn't. It's no. two hands in the back of the neck push. And if the two hands don't come in, why does Gabriel not head that ball away? Because it then because he's, he's, he's looking for it. Because he's looking for it. Why is the captain no, 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 no. going to get it? I he totally get that. And he, and he I totally it, get the right. It. No, no, no. Forget Raya. Forget Raya. He he completely misses it. Completely cocks it up. Bad, bad, bad from Raya. But. The thing is, is that it, Joe Linton pushes his head down and then it hits his chest in here and hits his arms. I, yeah. And it's like, well, if you didn't push Gabriel's head down, 
that it wouldn't come into your chest there and Gabriel would head the ball. I don't think he touches he Gabriel's head. And I first oh, and bro, second of all, he touches his neck. I also think, I think for me though, Fred, 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 do you not look at that and think, why is neck? You look at the hands and they're on his neck, which is fine. Fine, even if even if it's on his back, it's, it's, a it's push, so bro. soft. But do you not think you, my big centre back, my it, big centre back, should surely he didn't even bro, attempt heading, to challenge for the he's ball? He's going down to head the ball, he's, and mm, fucking dingy pushes. Gabriel is trying to win the foul, and he's not done it successfully, know, and it's ended up in a goal. Not at all. I think Gabriel, I think it's feeble defending. Teams, feeble, be absolutely fuming. Oh, no. He literally Probably. pushes. He pushes. On, it's feeble defending. I'd be fuming at my centre back for doing that. Two hands. It's that feeble. Two hands Go, in the be back. strong. Win the challenge. There's the, uh, ten, 15 years ago. Uh, honestly, 15, 20 years ago, you don't see a centre back fall to the ground in that situation. You see a centre back fight for the ball and win the ball. I, I genuinely think that's where well, the game's gone. He didn't gone. have to. He, he, like, he had to because he got pushed. And also, just on that reference, and he couldn't head it because the Donny <laughs> fucking pushed him away from the header. And then uh, he knew he was under the cosh, so he decided he'd going to cash in and try to win a free kick. He's Gordon offside. Let me. No, no, he's no, he's gone, gone back. The ball's gone back. The best, the, the best <laughs> hope that Arsenal had for that goal being disallowed was a foul. Right, I can, I can, I can see. For me, it was a 50-50 foul. Right, sometimes those are given. Right, but the, the key thing here, right, and the difference between Spurs and Arsenal when that thing happened with um, uh, who's it, Cedric and uh, holding and Son, Son uh, Cedric and was Son. Cedric and Son. Yeah, forgive yeah. me, sorry, um, Cedric and Son was in that moment when in in real time the ref gave a penalty. Didn't mm. he? Right, yeah, 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 yeah. In this time, in real time, the referee didn't give a penalty. And we're forgetting the key point of VAR. Why right, is there? It's to overturn blatant errors. And I'm yeah, really sorry. Are you really, are you really looking at it and saying that's a blatant error? It's I a think 50, that's a very, that's a very good point. At the end of the day, football is 50 50s, man. Very good point. And I, you agree with me the other day when I and said that's only with the opposition see, 50 being made up of strictly well, good as well. Boys, what I would yeah. say to you boys, <laughs> if it's a blatant, like what I would say in terms of the argument of a blatant error is you can't would all of you, would all of you argue that that was a foul on your centre back? No. I probably would, if I'm being completely uh, honest. I'd you're arguing that that is a foul on Van Dijk, as and a, you're arguing no. that's a foul on As an on honest football fan, Every genuinely, Every single I'm one of you boys that. is and I'm, arguing that that is a foul. No, I'm, honestly, yes, I'm, I'm annoyed at Van Dijk yeah, for going down like a sack of shit yeah, to a nothing yeah, challenge yeah. when the ball's coming into my six-yard box. Such a lie, HSM. Such a lie. Joe Linton. It's never been a lie. Joe Linton. Does Joe Linton push Romero or Van Der Ven to the ground? I didn't see that. Yes. Yeah, I was Again, Van Dijk doesn't get pushed to the ground. Already on the way down to head a ball. I'm thinking he's ducking thinking to head a ball. In my in my and so you get so pushed like ahead. Is that a goal? And for me, if we're disallowing goals like that, mate, what are we turning up for? The game's about goals. Give the team the benefit of the doubt. You know, you want as many goals in games as possible. Nah. There wasn't anything blatantly wrong with it, Fred. It was. It was, it was a blatant one. foul. Yeah, there's no defending. Of course, defend. He's not defending. Say, he's like, just my like main his point, is My fun. main point of the VAR thing is why was there not a camera on the line? On it, no, like, give you that. And I and I and I I do think that there wasn't enough evidence on the line thing to overturn it because we've seen those angles yeah. where that ball could be in because of the curvature of it. But for me, it's like, why is there a camera on the line for the Brighton game and there's not a camera, like with the Premier League, why, why is yeah, everything not enough. equal? Why is everything not the same? I hear that. It's, it's very it's strange. It's, fair fair it's a very strange one, but we ended up being severe last night as well. Yeah. Two nil. I'm severely we, disappointed with that one. <laughs> They, they get out. They, <laughs> they, they were actually unbelievable. I was at the game and they were shocking. Really awful. Well, they they, they, the mate, like the hot, we thing. we got to ninety minutes and turns the person next to me being like, "Is have they had a shot? Yeah, like were, not even a shot. Really? And in the ninety fifth or something, they had one shot. And so the times G thing on Twitter was one point six one for Arsenal. And 0.02 for Sevilla. Wow, I'm just, I, wow. As, the, their only shot they had was at the end of the game, where it was a very easy collection with David Roy. They were horrific. They 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 were awful. But it looks like Arsenal going to get through to the knockouts of the uh, Champions League, which helps that Newcastle loss. They were very very good. Declan Rice again. <sighs> the guy is genuinely a joke. Like every single game, seven eight out of ten. All the time. I will he's, say something. So he like, doesn't get injured with no party. Eh? Martinelli was amazing. Saka was amazing. It was. It was. It. But Sevilla severely helped that. They, I will. They I will. Really I will <laughs> they, 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 they. They. The right back that Martinelli was going against was just terrible. Allowing Martinelli to but, always go down the left. And, they will inevitably come third in their group and win. Yeah, we're pretty good. Exactly. Yeah. They, they've got a plan, anyways. But I think they are the Real of the Europa League. Aren't yeah. They?
I think there's a point to be made and I'm going to hate myself for this afterwards. Well, I was about to turn to you. No, nah, we're not even, we will, we'll skip United for me today. <laughs> no, no, but no, we'll talk about Beck and Rice. And I will eat my words in a couple of episodes ago and I do think he is potentially world class. Oh, mate. I, 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 I might have to give him that. He's on the verge. He's on the verge. He's, he's something. He's okay. He's, 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 very, very he's exactly very what United <laughs> need, which is unfortunate yeah. to say. I think he's mate, exactly what we need. The way he need. charges through midfield and stuff as yeah. well, like just like, the way he takes a ball sometimes is just dribbles through every other team. Like, every team. He goes straight. Just, he just yeah. goes straight and just yeah. ends up in a wild position. He's He's really, really good and always puts in a 7, 8 out of 10, and then sometimes he'll push it to like a 9. But yeah, really good. Very good. On Champions League and Arsenal, probably getting out of their group. Well, getting out of their group and into the knockouts. Let's let's turn to Manchester United. <laughs> I uh, I had a nice little surprise when I came out of the Arsenal game. Didn't have signal in the Emirates. Came out and saw four three Copenhagen. It's nice, isn't it, Fred? I I, I actually oh, was course. watching the Arsenal game, hoping that I'd watch an Arsenal loss, thinking yeah, that yeah. United would surely just breeze Copenhagen. Course, yeah. Two nil up. Two nil up. Exactly. I, I, I yeah, called yeah, off my yeah. notifications at that point. Thing, yeah. You know, <laughs> I, we had fun. I, here I had a little flick between the channels, and I and, and suddenly I flick on, and I see Rashford's studs going <laughs> deep into a guy's ankles, <laughs> and I thought, let me just let me just stay on this channel for a little bit, <laughs> and let me tell you, the rest of my time on that channel was far from a disappointment, Nifa. <laughs> You know, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Nifu Bali, what are you saying about this? Um, I had said in the group chat I was going to say no comment, but I think yeah. I have to elaborate a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Definitely have to elaborate. I, that's <laughs> not what we pay you for, Nifu. Yeah, yeah. Rune, Rune, <laughs> you Rune. Don't, let's stop that. Um, it was a red card. I think it, it's on one of those... Really? Yeah. 100% it's, it's a 100% a red card. But also, right before we clocked on today, I saw there's a Liverpool challenge from today's game against Toulouse, which he lost, by the way. Let's just remind you of that one. Exactly the same challenge. So I'm, no, I'm, yellow, no red card, no yellow card. I'm going to go a bit Different left field here and say, I don't think it's a red card. I think it's a red card. I do not think the rash should have been sent off. I think it's, it's super a rash harsh. challenge. <laughs> Stop it, mate. Stop. Yeah, that's your final word. Stop. Stop. Okay. That's some awful stuff. <laughs> Why don't you I, think it's a red card then? I don't think it's a red card because he has no idea that guy's coming. Yeah, not yet. But he, does he? It's, 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 he's yeah. gone in with no force. All they've done is slow that. Yeah. Rashford's turning away. He has no idea that that guy's foot is going to be planted there. And it's suddenly planted there. And because he's turning away, it, it goes on. And then when they slow-mo it... it looks slow mo's bad. proper yeah. shit, don't get me wrong. It's I hate so the slow-mo. They freeze mate. on the moment of contact that makes it look so bad. And but I do like, think maybe... He went in with no force. It, to me, it's not a dangerous, mm -hmm. dangerous yeah. uh, tackle or dangerous. But you say that, if it could have easily broken his ankle. Yeah, it could have. It could not. It could have. It was so easily. The angles were so bad. Harry, but and I think you know, Fred, I completely agree with you. And I think this conversation really epitomises what I'm saying in regards to get rid of VAR for the for the uh, <laughs> subjective. Pipe damn it. Get rid of get rid of VAR for the subjective decisions, right? Because we've all seen the same tackle. We've all seen the same yeah. replays, right? And we can't even agree. Different advice. Right? So yeah. at the end of the day, who's in the best choice to make the decision? The guy on the pitch. That's my know? biggest so issue. Let him, and then at the end, because that's what we had before, and we got by okay. But now this thing, it's like, oh, now we, because we've got someone checking it 15 times, we now expect the perfect decision. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And I tell you what, mate, I hate to think about the Spurs, but I feel like in, in, that, you really? know, that Romero decision, you know, that, how would that be? Because so it's in real time. How would the Curtis Jones decision? For right? Romero did you know, a David you know, Beckham you know, before as well. He should have had two red cards, yeah, really, yeah, if you're exactly. looking at it. So it's not the best example you could have brought to the but table look, there, Cam. I'm trying to do you a favour here, teammate. Like I, I don't Curtis need any favours from you, Cam. Can you just finish a point? <laughs> like, let someone else speak for once, man. Oh, okay. With your I can take for one night, boys, okay? No, but you know what I'm saying, Harry, mate, okay? Yeah. So Curtis Jones doesn't get sent off against Spurs, right? Okay, there's been so many decisions this year that they've, they've, got, they've gone back to, right? For me, I think the best person to decide is the referee on the pitch in real time. Because yeah. then you don't get any of those slow mos that I know, you know, can really turn the ref from our rest Ref do makes you say, yeah, you must make the sixth percent of the AR people. Yeah. Yeah. So we may as well just let one person. So Karen, this is a really hey. this is a really tough topic, right? Because you could say, all right, let's just do VAR for the objective decisions. Is it offside? Right? You could do it for that, but then I'd be fuming if a guy slides in on my guy on a last ditch tackle. And the ref doesn't give a pen. And he's come sliding in, misses the ball, but the ref thinks he got the ball. Mm -hmm. And then that's not a penalty. So it's such a weird line to draw to judge, because yeah. you either say, okay, there's subjective decisions that you give, 
or or there's nothing. But then I'd be fuming if I was. It's all on. It's all. It's all on the. It's all on the referee's watch, right? Okay. So if it's offside, it comes through. That was offside, right? Yeah. Same way. VR should 100 percent stay offside. If it was out, but then the rest of it, okay, fine. If he misses a blade, unless it's like they sent off the wrong player. Yeah. Or something like that. But like if it's if he misses a penalty, if it's a clear penalty he's not looking, right, then don't let him manage the referee the next week. Or is make you know, make let his yeah. assistant say, Hey mate, there was a bloody clear tackle there that we just completely missed, yeah, right? They don't do that. For the first time yeah, cameras tonight, yeah, I've actually so I agree many, with you. I agree with you. Fouls of yeah, they, they, they miss there's, there's just another set no, of but fouls that. on something they can come in on. The fouls are something that, they, that no, but that's where the line is drawn. In terms of VAR, so the they can't come in for a foul. Why can't it be drawn for the for the objective decisions instead of the subject? It, it, <laughs> because objective is literally just offside, right? Yeah. Like and goal, and goal and and um, did it go out? And goal line, and yeah, 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 goal line shit. You know? But like, <laughs> I'd be fuming now if a guy slides in, which does happen. It happens a decent amount that there's a blatant penalty penalty that doesn't get given, and then, but. It, Fred, can I ask you a question? Fred, can I ask you a question? so angry. Fred, imagine in the middle of the pitch, right? Okay. Could you imagine a foul right now in front of you? Imagine a foul right now in front yeah. of you. Yeah. Okay. If that was to happen in the game, right, would you blow your whistle for a foul? Right? Yeah, okay? blow a whistle. We can watch it. And I might see that exact same thing that you just imagined, right? And think, well, he's got the ball there. Okay. I'm going to play on. At the end of the day, there's not, a, there's not a defined version of what a foul is. It's all about opinions. We've just sat here. What did we do? Red card last night or not for Rashford? Yes or no? I say red card. You say red card. You say red card. Me and Fred both say so. It's down the middle. Yeah. So what the hell do we know? And we watch we watch football for twenty years, yeah. mate. The rest have been watching it for just as long. <laughs> they probably you can ask twenty refs and they'll say yes, and you can ask another yeah. twenty and they'll say yes. So at the end of the day, the person on the pitch watching the game in real time, who's actually responsible for the game, just let them do it because I think we're still yeah. bringing in people who disagree with each other. I, I, think that's what I, I agree with that yeah. point that VAR yeah. has now got to a point where too much power. We're debating, but we're debating it. Just it's still it. subjective. I agree, I, I agree with you, Travis. I, I, I agree with you. If it's going to be subjective, the whole point of VAR surely what's coming in was the this revolutionary thing that was going to get clear rid of subjectivity and, and it was going to be clear and, clear and it was going to be fine and there was got nothing to be left for, for debate. That's not happened. If anything, it's cranked it up a notch because of that expectation. Yeah, yeah. And that's where they've gone wrong. Like, and I agree, if we're going to have a subjective decision, which it pretty much always is, let's keep it to the guy that's on the pitch. Let's forget these like little kicks and stuff exactly. and only save it till but then you have to say in the rules that it's sub some subjective decisions Can are going to be okay and then it's like well when that one goes against me and they don't check it because it's not enough like i'm thinking in my mind of a penalty right let's say there's a penalty and hfc is running through i've come in sliding in and the ball's gone and i take him out Right, that's 100%. Let's go to VAR. Ref didn't give it. Penalty. But then what about those ones where you kick someone's leg and in the box and they go down and, and, and then those are the ones that you don't give them. And then it's like... If the referee sees it, then he sees it. You know? It, at the end of the day, look, I get what well, look, mate, it sounds harsh, but... I mean, you're a Tottenham Hotspur fan, listen, so here's, here's you have the refs on your side. Put enough from a I'm going to judge Spurs here. Here's an example of where I think VAR could be VAR could be implemented, right? So, for example, the game on Monday. So that kick out the Romero diffs, you know, the first mm. one, right? For me, that's from where maybe VAR, my version of VAR, jumps in and say, hey, right, there's clear violent conduct on the pitch, right? Okay, take a look at that. He's kicked out of him. It's got nothing to do with the game, right? Okay, but then I wouldn't say for the one, in, and obviously, look, they score from that one and they get a free kick in the other one, but it's not even to do with that. I think in the match day situation, in real time, Romero tries to clear the ball, leaves a little bit on the man, right? The referee didn't see it in real time, but, you know, R Romero kicking a player when they're like, you know, when the, book, the game is elsewhere, so that's clear by one contact. That's the type of situation where Vaj should say, hey, look, Romero's kicked the bloke here when, when your back's been turned and the, the linesman didn't see it. Yeah, but, but him clearing the ball away and leaving a bit it of It wasn't leg, clear in it. You know? He, he, he just he, he followed he, he through. He kicked the ball and he... And he kicked the ball and it wasn't right. clear. Clearing the ball away. Yeah, it's not argument oh, semantics. Let's, 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 let's go on from just VAR and... Well, we won't go on from Man United, <laughs> actually. I've got a question for you, Nefe. All right, fine. We said about Eric Ten Hag. Give him more time. Give him more time. How much time? End of the season, at least. I think. Really? I think no matter what happens. No but what do you not think the guys are so dry? Like, <laughs> do you think he's a personality? Like, and I genuinely do think this. I was thinking this today. Of, do you think he's the personality to be a Man United manager? Mm, we yeah. kind of had it with Unai Emery, where he was getting the piss taken out of him as Arsenal manager because he couldn't speak English that great. And uh, Eric Ten Hag, I think. 
not as like not as crazy as Una Emery, but to me, it seems like he doesn't have the personality to be a man I manager. I agree with the statement where I don't think he has the personality, but we've made the mistake of just sacking people for the sake of sacking people. Yeah, but why is that a reason to stick with a guy? Because I, just because I feel like every Man U fan is on that who, wavelength who, 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 right now where you're saying... There's also, there's also that. I, I, mean, I don't know that. There's, 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 there's yeah. two factors to it. One, we Arsenal can't actually afford... We can't actually afford You've to never sack never managed him. a team before. There's got to be someone out there. No, there's, I don't think there is. <laughs> what do you mean by you can't afford Bring to sack him? Financial fair play, we cannot afford to sack him. If we sack him, it's going to cost us, I think the stat is 23 million. Yeah. We don't have to. Grand and then, hey, yeah, if you want to get someone in from another club, it's another 50. You don't have 23 yeah. mil, but you'll chuck 80 on some dead winger. No, let's point, talk so. about Anthony. I don't want to see Anthony in the Man United team ever again. <laughs> but that's a different story. I would give him until the end of the season okay. because of what he showed last season. It's like Arteta. <clears throat> First season, eighth. Second season, fifth. Eighth and FA Cup. Okay, eighth in FA Cup. Add that in. The guy came Everyone third, always forgets that. third in Carabao in his first season. Ar Arsenal fans, I, I know some of you guys were calling for his head at the end of the second one. Yeah. Look at him now. Some crazy one. It, 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 could, it could be the same thing with Eriteg Card where it goes badly, he finishes sixth, seventh, eighth, whatever. Next season he kicks on and maybe does something. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but let's give him time. I, I, at least I, I do think that Arteta had this as my personality. It, the fact that people are pissed off by Arteta as rival fans. Yeah. He, he did have it. He does. Yeah, there was a direction. Was a, I would say there's a direction. Yeah, there's oh, a, you know what? I'm looking at their decisions and I'm like, well, like this Anthony thing, then the Sancho thing. And it's just like this old combination of like... Even Ten Hag in interviews, bro, he's saying like, yeah, we look good today. Yeah, it's but, like, no, you did I, I think he would at least come out and be like, no, we were awful today. We uh, need to improve yeah. that. And I feel like also Arteta would have handled the Sancho situation differently yeah, instead yeah. of coming out and outing the player. Like, create, but then like he Sancho. kind of did a Bamiyang and uh, yeah. I guess, I guess, I guess it maybe. Yeah, that's, really, a good, uh, that's a good uh, point. That's a good point. I that. think there's also an issue sure. where our club is in the shitter right now. The whole club as a whole yeah. is in the shitter. So yeah. every little thing, like the Bamiyang thing, Arsenal were doing all right when that thing happened. So it was easily squashed. You can paper over it with results. There's we so much it. shit happening in the background. Sancho, Anthony, Glazer still being there, Jim Ratcliffe's coming in, not knowing what's going to happen when he comes in. Then the results. The players are probably thinking, what the hell's going on right now? Ten Hag is thinking, these lot are just doing absolutely nonsense. And people keep banging on about Maguire and Evans starting, right? I think Ten Hag has just gone, well, I can trust this this eleven that I'm putting out on to actually. I can try trust these guys to lose to us well, points. To try and do something, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Like it's not the worst for a mouth. Unfortunately, <laughs> looked better with Maguire and Evans than we looked with Maguire and Varane. Like, but bro, I don't Varane understand how you can. Then we sold the game. No, but let's 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 talk about oh, those handballs as well, though, man. Bananas all over the shop. You got. Bananas been good the last four games. Let's let's talk about those handballs though in those cup and hard. Good. Games. Like what 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 is Europe? On. Oh, they're a joke. It's a joke again. Why is Europe on with these hammers? Why are uh, why are all these leagues and UEFA so unaligned? It should all be the same the, damn. Rule. The Premier League has got it right right now. I think with handballs. Yeah, if it's in an unnatural position, certain distance. I I do I do think most True. Premier League handball decisions are now pretty correct right yeah. now. Apart from Romero, the, yes, the, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. But the European ones are joke. just. Nuts. The Maguire one is an actual the, disgrace. Uh, bro, like that one is an actual disgrace. From here onto here, it's a disgrace. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, but I but agree. The thing is, I agree. I was watching that game. The thinking, ones. What's an even bigger disgrace is how much Maguire and Bruno Fernandez appealed for that penalty. No, but mate, that to me is no, the I'm disgrace. So, I'm of sorry. I'm sorry. If, if we have one given, they got hard done by us. We got hard done by. So why the hell not appeal for it? I think it's fair enough. You got hard done by. You got hard done by. At what? Like how? I watch those highlights and they they get hard done by. It feeds back into the handballs are so harsh. Var for the handballs are so that the Copenhagen pen was way more of a pen than the United pen. No, was it? He literally heads it to Maguire's arm, well, who's, he, he who's literally turning, it. and he heads it here, and they give a pen. Ah, but Maguire's out. Like, no, Maguire's, he's, he's also, Maguire's out because he's trying to hold the guy from making But his hand's still right next but to the ball. The only reason his hand's out is literally because he's got his, he's trying to grab the guy. But he's trying to grab him to turn, because he's trying to hit the ball that way, so he's trying to shield the ball. The distance is questionable. He, if he's not trying to grab, if he was a bit, if he had his head on and it was defending well, he wouldn't have been trying to grab the guy, therefore his hands aren't out, you know what I mean? The other guy's literally jumping for a header. I don't like the I, European rules of handball. I hate, I hate I to be a repetitive vine, right? But the 
I think it comes back to the VAR thing, right? Okay, because look, a handball, how do you define a handball? Is it intentional? Is it when the hand's out? For me, a handball is in real time, did they head it and did it hit his hand in a blatant way, right? Because if you slow it down and find a photo of it, there's always going to happen. And it's like, again, it's just like, mate, it's 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 just like it's like refereeing and overdoing it for the sake of doing it yeah. like they're, they're trying to make up for all the shit that happened for the past 50 60 years in football it's just again let the refer the referee we human beings have evolved over the past hundred thousand years to see things in real time and interpret and in we don't need everything slowed down right to find all these mistakes and it's just like let the referee like you know just make the decision because i feel like that's the best way of doing it and then you don't have to do like oh the hand has to be here but not here or you know the, the, the he has to he has to head it onto his hand or whatever it is all these little minute factors you're know saying say like, that though bro but when it goes against you it, yeah when you just, but it, was, it goes it goes against it goes against united yesterday when I, we got VAR. it goes it's yeah, gonna yeah, go against, yeah but, it's but football. spurs, it's spurs, spurs get lucky oh, mate, we don't, let's really pay the refs what am i saying we lost the champions league final to a dodgy handball mate i can get over bad referee right what i'm gonna say is last point of united Without VAR, and to kind of add to your point, without VAR yesterday, we coast that game. And the ref game. gave it. We coast that game. Because the ref didn't give anything. <laughs> the ref we, gave it. <laughs> Rashford didn't give the pens, didn't give anything. All VAR decisions. Yeah, we yeah, coast yeah. that game. Yeah. But again, it's happened. I've said it I've said it in the group chat a couple of times. We're in the mud. We're not going out of the group. We're not going to beat Galatasaray right away. We'll lose to Bayern. Let's just let's forget about European football for this year and just. Da, 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 I, like I didn't like that. One. I hated that. In fact, <laughs> you're like, I didn't like, hear that one. I would rather not be in the European League though. I'd much rather just finish fourth and focus on the league. Be in the conference. No, I'd rather just not be in anything. You're not finishing fourth because I hope we finish fourth. We're fourth right now. I feel like you'll beat Gala. You not away. I actually think you not actually away. still have a chance coming second. Yeah, there's only yeah, two. Yeah, there's yeah. only a point. The second. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not out of the question. But then Gala have to beat Copenhagen. Yeah, and, and then other you have to, to lose to Bayern. Yeah. So, so that's that's how it happens. Galatasaray have to beat Copenhagen, and uh, Bayern have to beat you. But Bayern have to come to Old Trafford, and you're going to be playing Sixth. for your lives. But we have which, to. Go. Which way is the? Which way is it round? Do you play? We play Galatasaray Galatasaray away right, next? and then Bayern. Bayern lost. But Bayern are going to be resting all their players. They're already through. Yeah, true. But at the same time, so Bayern. Can, honestly, yeah. I. It's no. not. It's not beyond. It's not the beyond. No. United it's not beyond. But I definitely. Not. I do not see a way of us going to Istanbul and being in that cauldron and standing a flipping <sighs> chance. Mate, when, you, when you're up against it like you are, so like you're Man United, well. mate. There's no chance. You're Man United. Mate, we did it, we did it a couple of years They've ago with Van Persie. They haven't got, got that. Smashed. I think they They're not United. I, I, I think they, uh, okay. I'd be interested to see what, what, what the odds are saying, but like, yeah, no, I, think I don't think we have a chance. I don't think you guys saw they've they've lost more. Ga they've lost as many games team. now. They've guys. lost more games now. The best player is probably Wilfred Zaha, man. It's like going to United upset me, man. Fuck United. Yeah. All right. Upset me too. Eric Ten Hag out. No. Let's get him out. Uh, Liverpool. Yeah. Surprise result against Luton. Probably one of the biggest surprises of this year, to be honest. I, I would say the biggest Premier League shock of all time, actually, <laughs> as far. Of all time? L Luton, mate, are, are a <laughs> disgrace of the Premier League. They didn't win. They Their didn't stadium win. doesn't even, you know, match Premier League regulation. This is like, this is like, I don't, oh, mate, I can't believe they dropped points here, man. It, Harry, come on. I know we've had fun today. But it's a shocking result. His, he's biting his tongue right now. I don't, I don't need to talk too much, mate. I don't need to talk. Obviously, it was a bad result. Awful. Cameras is, is, is a gassed guy right now. Obviously, he's still feeding off their, their yeah. start to the season. Reality struck on Monday and mm. reality will continue to, to bite Inshallah. this guy's ass, mate. Mm. Um, I'm not worried. Luton, fair enough. Fair play. Like Big, big day. Like Arguably, Luton's biggest result in the last... 30 years you they're know? a glorified national so, league so it's okay you know I don't mind if there's any team in the league that we could drop points to right now maybe it's Luton at home you know <laughs> we'll give them that I don't mind it's a bad day for us don't get me wrong awful day but we'll be back mate I'm not worried about our situation this season we've got a couple of things we need to fix we can't have McAllister playing six for the rest of the season mm -mm. Um, mm -mm. that can't happen he doesn't want to be there he's actually putting in a great shift all things considered but Let's get that changed so he can actually cook in the, in the kitchen that he likes to cook in. You know what I mean? <laughs> so um, so let's get that happening. And then aside from that, mate, I think Diaz as well. Child him. Obviously, yeah, the guy yeah, yeah. who scores the goal. Score what money. mate? Insane. Classic Insane. poetry in football. You know, we. How many times do we see Libertades the, uh, para papi or something yeah, like that. para yeah, yeah. papa or something like that? Great accent. Nice yeah, accent. Yeah, I, I thought I'd chuck that in there for you guys. <laughs> uh, just, uh, but nah, obviously, also his dad got free today, so that's the big news of the day. Yeah. Um, but 
I think that stuff makes a difference, mate. Diaz, again, he can now do his thing knowing that his, his mum and dad will be watching in, in comfort and safety, you know, that makes a big difference to one of our star men. Maybe he was popping because they were not in safety. Well, maybe. That, that, can, that, can, that, can, that can do something to a couple guys out here, but I think overall yeah. the, the, the nagging, there's going to be that nagging. There, the there was a little motivation there to, to get the shirt off. To, to to send the message, a hundred percent, and that's yeah. why you know that's why that's why football seems to always fall into place like that. It always seems to be like the yeah, guy who's does, yeah. who's who's hard done at the moment. It always seems to be him that then scores the goal, steals yeah. the headlines. It's like but, versus Arsenal. You know, it's always like that. But or maybe maybe it was just this Colombian guerrilla group were massive Luton fans, and they thought, you know what, fair play, <laughs> you know, <laughs> got, they've done it there. We're going to get in trouble for this. A to C, are you gonna? To lose to uh, Brentford this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Take a note. That's how you do a pun, by the way. Yeah, that's how you do it. For those who don't know, Liverpool just lost three two to Toulouse. Yeah. yeah, they they did to lose. Yeah, we we fielded a second team. Yeah. <laughs> At least they'll get through the group, unlike Man United. Oh, eh? Facts. Yeah. And ultimately, you guys mate, are just saying we still have a chance. Do What's going on here? No, I don't Ultimately, bro, if we crash out, we crash out. I don't, I don't even want Thursdays. No, I, 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 I was trying to give you hope. Like Europa League's only good once you're in the semi-final. Yeah. You know, that's it. So It's good uh, to play youth, though. I, like, that's how Saka came up. For sure. It is that's, nice. I'm telling you, Arsenal would not be the same club right now without the Europa League section of it. Because Champions League, you have to play your star players all the time. Europa League is actually quite a good period to it is, bring it in is. the youth against these... Teams that are, are good European teams, but not as good as the kind of Premier League teams. So yeah. I actually quite liked Europa at one point, it, five, six years. It gets old. It's, the sort of gets yeah. old as well. But for one year, I honestly think it's quite a good thing for Liverpool. But you guys don't seem to be playing any good young guys. So. Well, we've won. We've got a hundred percent win record until today. <laughs> Um, we 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 we're seeing Jarrod Quanzo getting his getting his game time. We're seeing we're ben seeing Doak. the likes of others getting their time. Ben Doak, for example. Mm. You know, I think. We'll do our thing. Also, let's not forget that this current Liverpool team right now is very new. Mm. A whole midfield completely new, young. So I mean, Actually, maybe, might the, be maybe like this Tottenham side. Maybe the Europa League is a nice little, a nice little opportunity you to, don't bridge have to the bring the gap. Tottenham into flipping everything. I do, mate. My God. They're, also, they're also not in Europe as well. Let's just remember that. Yeah. The only place you can watch European but football in London is uh, what 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 I would yeah, say what I would say to about this Toulouse. I feel like also maybe give Liverpool a bit of credit. I saw a great video of Toulouse fans walking through. I think a station in Liverpool. I don't know if you saw that a few weeks ago. I'm a saying. couple of thousand of them walking through this thing, um, and they, they, they the fans were insane. So I can imagine Liverpool turned up in a bit of a cold tonight. Liverpool already threw arguably well, they won the first three games. They're pretty yes. comfortable. Um, Toulouse obviously needed the points more, so. Like you can't judge Liverpool too much on this result tonight, but obviously they're a bit disappointed. Would that well, be fair, Harry? Is that across the line there, mate? No, I appreciate yeah. your words there, Campus. Yeah. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to make it up with that. No, I appreciate right, hey, your dude. words, Campus. <laughs> Can we be friends now, Harry? No, Please, no, no, come no. on. We're not, we're not guys. <laughs> <laughs> There's also been a, uh, another Liverpool-related story this week of Firmino's book. Yeah, oh, mate. and he's, See, senor. There's been quotes of him revealing the tensions between Salah and Mane oh, really? oh, wow. and him quoting himself as the firefighter. I like that. So Firmino was there in between the two <laughs> putting out fires. <laughs> and it's, it's an interesting, because we've seen the kind of clips of Salah and Mane in beef and Mane coming onto the bench. And There's that Burnley game that really, that yeah, really yeah. rings through Burnley people's Burnley game's the, 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 the big one. Where yeah. Mane, Mane the explosion. The where Salah didn't pass it or whatever. Mm -hmm. what, what, sorry, boys, for, forgive me. What, what happened there? Was it just it, a, it's just they're both goal scorers, right? And both... And what did Mane do? Salah, 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 there was a couple of chances where Salah could have just played it to Mane. Yeah. He didn't, he missed, he didn't score. We won the game. We were like 3-0 up. Yeah. Mane got subbed off and he was absolutely oh, really? fuming on the bench. He was completely flipping out. Milner oh, wow. was having to try and like restrain him. Oh, shit, he was wow. so angry about Salah. First. Um, How long, was this the, the season that, that he ended up going to Bayern Munich or was that a bit before? I think it might have been the year before. I'm trying to Maybe picture, that's why he left. I'm trying season. to link up the kits in my head to be honest. I can <laughs> picture the kit that we were wearing. But he, the, yeah, I mean, even like still, it was, it was just Salah and Mane seemed to have not seen eye to eye the whole time and Firmino was just there yeah. trying to bring them together. I'll tell you what, the results on the pitch completely yeah. prove otherwise. Well, that's what yeah. you want, isn't yeah. it? You want that in your dressing room when your two biggest goal scorers actually feeding off 
competition against each other. Yeah, and as much as yeah. Salah and Mane competed, they they how many how many goals can we think of where they directly linked up and made made crazy things happen? 100%. You know, that sure. they may not have liked each other, but I mean, I've seen clips of Thierry Henry saying back in the day the Arsenal team it was very rare not to have an argument in the dressing room after a game, even when they won. So you kind of want to see that mentality yeah. in the team, and it's 100%. probably I remember I remember, so that that I remember I remember watching that game at that point. I remember watching that game not being even slightly upset about mm. seeing that because I was just thinking, mate, we're three nil up away at Turf Moor yeah. and Mane's fuming, yeah. you know, God only knows how fired up he's going to be for the Champions League, for the City game, yeah. for this, that and the other, you know, it's, that's what you want to see. Same when Lloris snapped on, I think it was Deli Alley. Um, and like, look, I mean, at the time I was a little bit concerned, but then you watch the thing and they actually came is out, it, they were pumped up. And no, look, come on, you know, you know is what it though? Is that, I'd we're rather, talking about teams competing for big titles and competing like, for thought, big I'd things, build, you know? I'd, like, I'd, 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 I'm trying to build bridges this past 10 minutes, Harry, mate. It's not going to be like that. My point, my point being is um, I'd rather see my players angry and pumped up than see them not, like, you know, not give a damn. You know, if they're angry, at least they care. At least they're going to go out and show that on the pitch. Fair. So um, I don't think you can hold them against it too much, to be fair. Yeah. Well, is that fair, Harry? You happy with that? Yeah, just not too muggy there. Just about. <laughs> let's 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 go on from the footy. I mean, I think we've covered everyone's teams to a pretty good extent, right yeah. there. Yeah, there's going to be some bridges that are going to have to be rebuilt. Yeah, there are. There's going to be a some few counselling sessions. But <laughs> 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 Harry's face. Harry's face. <laughs> yeah, I'm just. I'm, I'm sick to death. I suppose. <laughs> right. The well, worst about this is we're close. Train home That's to get the just thinking that. <laughs> we're, we're close to the end of. Uh, Spurs. Let's just get that out there. But yeah, in terms of the center spot roundup, the NFL, we're nine weeks in. Mm. NFL is nine weeks in. And I just have a little stat for you boys of CJ Stroud. He was the number two pick in the NFL draft this year. Mm -hmm. And he's got an NFL rookie record of 470 passing yards. His pass rating, 147.8, was the highest in the game by a rookie quarterback. So first year, like insane. Yeah. He, he, he brings the Texans back with 46 seconds left to win it 39-37. Like, insane drive. And they're now four and four. The Texans were meant to be this stinker of a team. Absolute stinker of a team. Hey, all you need is one and man. And CJ Stroud is... And so you've got Bryce Young, who was the number one pick quarterback. Mm -hmm. well, number one pick. And he's a quarterback. And he's at the Carolina Panthers. And they're one and seven. So they've, they've lost seven games. Oh, wow. One, one. So CJ Stroud is... He's bossing doing big it. things. He's setting rookie records, and just just a shout out to CJ Stroud. He's 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 doing very well. Uh, the cricket, the Aussies come back from an unbelievable, unbelievably bad position against the Afghanistan's. Yeah, Hammersley. mate. They were I think they were like seventy seven for seven or something like that. We're needing about another. 200 on a pretty r r low scoring pitch i saw them at um, like 97 for eight they something. were they were in huge trouble yeah. mate um and they had their last sort of batter was glenn maxwell who was who was playing with some cramp or some dodgy back or something right and i was listening to the i was listening to the, the commentary of it i was at work at the time um and they just sounded like the aussie was the aussie doing the commentary he was just thought this is a disgrace and i'm sitting there thinking what a story from afghanistan right yeah these guys they've taken on the taliban and survived right <laughs> and now they're taking on the royals of international cricket mate and they're doing bits and if they beat australia then they need to either be um they had two games left one of them being india which would be a tough i can't remember who the other one is at the top of my head but if they won it they're in the semi-final yeah. right like, if you go back to the um episode where we did our top four predictions mate the last <laughs> scene we were covered about was talking about bloody afghanistan mate it's a it's an unbelievable sporting story so so inspiring and it's such a shame that australia you know turned it around but to Could be fair to australia wickets, yeah. and, mate i mean what a performance from glenn waxwell like yeah. it is unbelievable what he did like I, I implore anyone to go and watch the highlights of this innings because it is probably the best one day international in, um, innings of all time um, I've never seen anything like it just when he thought he was done because he would he would he would take between every ball he'd take about a minute to like get his back back in shape and the guy was like literally going on one leg for one minute one leg on the other and he was just hitting sixes left and right like the guy it was an inspired innings and um, look England have had a pretty bad tournament um, but it's games like that. Still like, talking God, England. England uh, is just. Uh, yeah. But it's games like that where you're like, God, this cricket game is pretty good fun. Actually, yeah. it's pretty, it's pretty exciting. That's not um, right. It was, yeah, what a game. But you know what? Afghanistan still have a chance. Yeah. Um, Australia have now qualified along with India to be in the semi-finals. But Afghanistan is still there. 
and I think there's a few teams, Pakistan, Pakistan, um, South Africa, on the brink as well, yeah. sort of on the brink. So um, look, I'm 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 the biggest Afghan out here now, boys. I'm, <laughs> I'm all for them. Uh, I really hope they go and do it. But we'll nice. see what happens. Well, that that brings to an end the Centre Sport Roundup. And what we're going to do today, boys, we're going for a fatty of a quiz. Okay. Nice, a real, real fatty. So grab your buzzers, HFC. Keep your eyes clear, bro. I won't look. I won't look. Keep, I don't I'm need gonna, to. I'm gonna just turn. <laughs> no, my you're gonna need to help me. You know I don't need the to. Big I'm gonna, back. I'll look you're straight at G2 the behind the cameras, back. mate. Turn my laptop. We're gonna start off with a bit of guess the career path. First one. Yeah. Leon. Mm -hmm. Monaco. Mm -hmm. Manchester United. Marshall. Nife Bali gets the point. Hamburg. Leverkusen. Son. Oh, HSC. That is a... I knew, as soon as you said Hamburg, I knew by Leverkusen was the next team you were going to say. That's, that's a good one. I thought Hammers would uh, obviously get that when I next said Spurs. Sorry, son. <laughs> Hellas, Hellas Verona. Napoli. Chelsea. Koulibaly. Nope. Fuck yeah. You're frozen out. Sorry, can you repeat that? Hellas Verona. Silly. silly Napoli. Silly. Chelsea. Arsenal. Oh no. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? That's an obvious one. Mate, I'm oh. going to... No! I don't know blank. how you guys... Are no! Oh, you no! Go, a freak. Chelsea it. to Arsenal. Napoli to Chelsea. Yeah. Jorginho. There we go, oh, Cameras. No, it's, all, it's one blank. It's mate, one. Everyone has that. one. I was just thinking, well, who's a fucking arse? I, I was thinking an arse. Yeah, that, I, was think, I couldn't think of anything. Everyone has one. We currently have two champions in the quizzes. We have MB and HFC. It's going to be a repeat. Last one of us time two. HFC was here, MB wasn't here. When MB won it, HFC wasn't here. So I was... I'd like to just say we have had one to head to head. I'd just like to say I'm the only two time champion out of the two. Of us, but, you know, let's, let's that's see all if, I'm saying. Let's, let's, guy, let's see if uh, Camas League all week as well. Let's see if Camas Lee can take a crown. There's no chance on that. Right, so next nice. one. Villarreal, Atletico, City, Manchester City. Roger. MB takes the point. He's done well. <laughs> right. Barranquilla. Huh? Barranquilla. What was it? Atletico Junior. Porto. Liverpool. Diaz. It is. MB gets it again. That puts him three. That's what I think. One, one up. Oh, <laughs> no! Did. Right, yeah, he did. Right. Probably the toughest one out of these. I, I, I struggled this, with this one. Berry Town. Mm -hmm. Charlton. Mm -hmm. Burnley. Newcastle. That's me. Kieran Trippier. It's not Kieran Trippier. Wait, so he went Atletico, bro. Repeat that. But he went, he went. Uh, I won't, I won't repeat the, uh, uh, well, I, Barry, so, you were you Barry, were second, yeah, I think. Barry Charlton, uh, Burnley, Newcastle. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, oh my god, oh my three, god. Oh, two, go on, Nifa, what you've got? One, Nick Pope. There we go, oh, Nifa takes it. <laughs> Nifa is four, one, one up right now. I mean, so everything is to play for here <laughs> because we've still got. Who am I coming? And we know that those are playing yeah, for five tough. points, four points, three points. But we've got some, some questions in the middle of it. Okay. How many different countries will host the 2030 World Cup? Um, 2030, six. He's got it. That's very impressive. So you've got Spain, Portugal, Morocco as the main hosts, and then you have Argentina, Paraguay, and Uruguay as the commemorative hosts, being the 100th year of the World Cup, 100th celebration. Next question. Where did Beckham finish his career? I got it first. I got it first. 100%. My fingers, 100%. Didn't, my fingers didn't twitch. 100%. I got it first. 100%. We I went bust again. We got Memphis. No, no way. No way. You're full one. No way. No way. No way. No way. I heard his first. No way. That's a joke. I'm I like a rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Rock. 
Uh, come on, so I go rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> says, yeah. yeah. Rock, paper, scissors. Come on. Um, okay, Cam. Oh shit, I've got to answer that. Uh, a pierce shit. Yeah. Fucking nonsense. Cam is lead. That is such a. I'm so. I'm so. I was going to play. That is so ridiculous. Four, three, three, one. Who's currently top of the championship? Leicester. He said it, it but I do it think he was cameras, first, was yeah. Cameras, yeah. That is Cameras no. 4. I'm slacking. Let me sit that forward like FIFA. Four, four, one. Yeah, it should be four, five. Four, forward like FIFA. FIFA yeah. I should have yeah, five, mate. This is You're doing that FIFA sure. meme. Okay, I'll, I'll ask this one. Who's currently top of League 1? That was HFC. Are we talking like League R or League 1? No, League 1. <laughs> Three, <laughs> five, four, uh, three, um, two, one. I thought you'd get this. Portsmouth. It is Portsmouth. It assume. is Camus. Camus takes the lead. He's come back from 4-1 down to 5-4 oh, up. A fucking dubious decision from you. That's all I'm in. He was going to give it to me anyway. And I, I offered yeah. you a 50-50. I thought I heard. I offered yeah. you a 50-50. Yeah, I don't think it was dubious. <laughs> Who's currently top of Bundesliga? Leverkusen. That is Cam. That's six. Oh, Boys, he's on fire! Six, I need to be so six, much quicker. All right, boys, this is where it all comes down to, really. Okay. I got a bit of who am I? You're gonna yeah. win it anyway. Got a bit of who, who am I? So, can I just obviously you get five points for the first one. We've got five prompts here. Fine. It goes down in points. How many we got? Can I just check if they're all footballers? Uh, we've got four of them. They are all footballers. Okay. They are nice. all footballers. Um, Good some luck, of them very tough first, but you know. I, I think for some. George actually got a, our technician got a few of them early doors. G technician. Yeah, G technician. G as a kid, I started out as a goalkeeper. Fernando Torres. Nope. Oh. He's he's now out. He's now out. Do you want the next clue? No. No, no. He wants to go. I want to go, with Marcus Rashford. No. All right, hit me with the clues, friend. You're now, you get all the clues. Let me just gobble up these points. This is actually combat season. Man. Come on, let's let me go. Oh, let me you guys are frozen out until the end. Keep it stum. I have won four Premier League titles. I'd say this is the hardest one to win, though. Okay. Like this is the hardest one to win. So, so you get five seconds once you said the last one, right? Uh, Started I have won four Premier League titles. Four Premier League titles. Yeah. I was the youngest player to reach 200 wins in the Premier League. Ooh. I am Spain's fourth highest goal scorer and second highest assister. I have a statue outside the Etihad. Ooh, I don't. I know this. Come on, five, David, four, three, two, one, two. David Silver. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I was is that one? You didn't get it. That's one. Cool. He got one. He got it on the last one. That 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 is why I think it's the toughest one. You know, what I did come. Like, I did, I I did a Jurgen Klopp. Me, I, I protected. I, I, I defended <laughs> out. Yeah, I held out and I secured the point that might might become crucial at the end of the game. Not, you know what I mean? Not Harry, man. I'm a practical learner, and you know what? Something's clicked there for me. You know, you're coming from that. Fair play. <laughs> I scored my first pro goal against Arsenal. I'm a sucker, but I like going big. Wayne Rooney. Uh, it's a great shout. That's what I was going to say. But it's not the correct shout. I was going to buzz and It is it. such a good shout. I knew someone was going to go for that. I played him in, every minute of the 1920 Premier League season at the age of 20. I like the number 41. So dead. Declan. It's Declan Rice. HFC gets three. What's he gets do? three. What's he on now? Five. That is HFC on five and Cammers on six and MB on four. Wow. Doing the choice that here, Juventus. Absolute scenes. We've got two That's more, stinky. boys. We've got ah. two more Ramis here. Oh my god, this is tight. I feel sick. This <laughs> I had two spells on loan at Sunderland. I am the second most decorated Northern Irish footballer. Andy Reid. No, he does not. Andy Reid. <laughs> I'll finish the sentence. I am the, <laughs> second, the sentence. I am the second most decorated Northern Irish footballer with 10 major trophies. I received an MBE for services to association football in Northern Ireland. I'm going to go out on a whim. Johnny Evans. It is Johnny Evans! Yeah, I was going to say that! Yeah. Oh, Lee Faye, he, he, he gets three. 
Nifei gets three. Oh I my god, it number two. Oh, actually, we got our number two too. I was going to say that. We currently have Nifei on seven. Oh, of course, it was. I actually had the name in my head. Cam, I was waiting. Cam is on six, and so HFC is on five. So we have. Wow. So this is the last. This is the last. Who am I? So this is it. This is so it. Wait, so what, basically, Harry needs to get it on question three to win. Harry needs to get, get it on. Wait, this is the final question of the whole three. quiz. Yeah, you need to get it on prompt three okay. at least. Okay. I won back-to-back -back Premier League titles, but not with the same team. I have won the what? Cante. Oh, it is Cante. <laughs> it is Cante. <laughs> Lupe comes from last. That's why he's the first. That's why he's the champ. That is guy. why he is the champ. What can I say? You just can't match that. You can't match that. You come from behind on the last two and you get Johnny Evans and you get Canty on the first Talk one. Talk about it's... doing it in Fergie time, mate. That was unbelievable. When that you know, is, when you know your stuff, time. you know your stuff. Yeah. That is and I had this time. guy in my Instagram oh, DM this... thing. I did... I'll tell you what, I should have I should have, I should have Johnny Evans after he said Andy Reid. Oh, literally, the name on. came to me and I thought, let me just hang on for a second here. It's too easy. Well, I will say just the final rankings there of, of the three. The three kind of big dogs around it. You've got Messi, Ronaldo, and Erling Haaland. Neymar. <laughs> and uh, MSN. And <laughs> Nifes end up on 12. Yeah. Great performance. Camas has ended up on six. We'll take that. Doubled your score. And mate. with such an early lead, <laughs> HFC <laughs> has ended up on five. You, you came out with early ball knowledge, and it was just the who am I that let you down, man. No, I, I won't sleep easy. Did, you, like, <laughs> did you maybe overdo it coming out the traps and then sort of burn out? Yeah. You know? I, I I went big, mate. I went big, I, and that, and this is this is this goes back to what we were saying about Klopp and Poster Coglu. I've, <laughs> I've I've done a Poster Coglu, and look what's happened. You know nice, what I mean? Nice. But, yeah. You know, it only ever results in a loss. When you're dealing with the big boys, you know, just keep. This. Come on, you know. All right, well, the big boys find a way to win. Yeah, come on. Come on. We'll, we'll be back again. We'll be back again next week. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment on this video. Who has the biggest ball knowledge? And we'll see you next week.